Hello, this is Anna Laura Brown from AnnaLauraBrown.com and the Auto Rehab Podcast. Today's video, I want to share with you five things that I have learned about Feng Shui. Okay, number one, it's not based on a religion, but on an ancient Chinese and practice and a science. And it's very, very common, you know, in China and other of other countries like Taiwan, Malaysia, things like that. And even if you are American watching this, which I'm assuming that most of you are, you've probably at least heard about feng shui, but it may not be something that you really know a whole lot about. At least I know that I didn't until I actually interviewed Jillian, who specializes in feng shui, and I will link the podcast episode with her below in the show notes here. Okay, number two, it's one of the best things that you can do to improve your home environment. So when a lot of us think about our home environment, a lot of times we think about changing the decor, hiring an interior decorator, moving around furniture, or different things like that. But feng shui actually is a really great way to change and improve your home environment. Then the third thing that I learned is that acupuncturists often use feng shui to help assist in the healing of their clients. And this was something that had never really even occurred to me, and I've personally experienced a lot of acupuncture, but it never really occurred to me about the role that feng shui and acupuncture could play together. So that was something that was really new and interesting to me. Then number four, sometimes the changes you need to make may be quite simple. So it may be something like changing your bed to a different direction or moving around a piece of furniture. Other times it might be something that's a little bit more complicated. And, you know, you never really know until you get started learning about feng shui and to, or hire a feng shui pack practitioner to help assist you in making those changes. You never really know exactly what changes you might need to make. The number five is it can have a big impact on your life, including your health and your well-being. A lot of us, you know, really don't even consider, well, I, at least I never considered feng shui as being something that could have a really big impact on my health and well-being, but now I'm starting to reconsider it and something that, you know, I may have to uh, investigate a little more, potentially hire somebody to help me with. So anyhow, just wanted to share some of these lessons that I have learned in this past week about feng shui. Hope you found this interesting. If you'd like to learn more, like I said, there'll be a link to the podcast episode below and go ahead, check it out and let me know what you think about it.